Those of you who have survived the return of the exile to Soldan Eselar know me, your queen. But only some of you know the hero beside me, who was most instrumental in saving our city and the Tree of Life. Such selfless acts almost resulted in the loss of your life, and perhaps much more than that. These deeds were not performed alone. Soldan Eselar also extends its gratitude to those who have traveled with you and fought by your side to help save our city. There is no reward adequate enough for one who has done so much. Let us offer them the eternal thanks of our people and an amulet of the Seldarine to remind you forever that you are welcome here amongst us. As for the man whom we once knew as John Aleth, I can only say that he died long ago. He lives in my memory still. To the man he became, the exile, Erenicus, he who performed atrocities on you, the tree, and his former people, to him I can only send my prayer that he finds the peace in death he never found in life. I feel I must apologize on his behalf for what he put you and your friends through. For his madness, we stripped John Aleth of his elven immortality and exiled him, only to create Irenicus instead. I cannot help but feel we are partly responsible. It is something I shall have to ponder on. As for you, I imagine you are eager to resume your travels once again. We wish you well. No, we look forward to your return in the future, should you desire to. Like this! Orion's sword has become too powerful. We should have acted long before now. There is no reason to be concerned. The fate of this fool has been sealed. But can we be so sure? This spawn of Bob is doomed. There is no escape. There is no peace for a child of Baal. You've learned this lesson time and again, as all who are close to you suffer because of your tainted blood. When John Irenicus fell, you had hoped for some sort of respite. But peril follows you like pestilence. The time of the prophecy has come. Five powerful Baal spawn have arisen leading their armies across the Sword Coast, slaughtering their weaker siblings and innocents alike in a wave of massive destruction. 
like wildfire, panic spreads before the armies of the five, and those suspected of being children of Baal are cast out and revived. Even in Sultan Esselar, unease grows into fear at your presence. Queen Elysim urges you to visit a sacred grove where the ancients might shed light on your fate. You wonder what part you will play in the dreaded prophecy, and how long before its culmination devours your soul. <laughs> thing seems certain. So long as Baal's throne of blood stands empty, chaos 